Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's video. Hey, I think it snowed. Nope, that's dust. <laughs> Don't put that in the video, Sam. <laughs> that's disgusting. There is dust that looks like snow in our coop. I'm gonna clean out our coop, but first, it has to get warmer. Welcome to today's freezing video. I need you to, I'm gonna open this, and I need you to dump shavings in here. Not the whole bag, just a little in both sides. got Gabby here she is helping me with chicken chores <laughs> it's her first time <laughs> how do you like chicken chores how do you like chicken chores <laughs> here I'm gonna get you to put the food in the feeders for the chickens Where? in here so there's a feeder right there and then there's another feeder over there here I got it chicken chores are the worst chores because they're like a lot. They take a lot of cleaning, a lot of water, like every day. Our Gabby has not been attacked by the rooster. I'm waiting for that to happen. Why are you here? No, but I thought since you're helping with chicken chores. Look at all of our cute chickens. They're so cute. We've never had this many chickens ever before. Super cute. So, uh, not everybody likes a nice black chicken, but black chickens are the ones that, the dark ones, lay the dark eggs. So, it's beneficial for us. Hold her up. Do you like that one? No. Come on, I missed it, but Gabby actually picked her up and was looking right in her face. I like red chickens. Well, there's a red chicken. There's Those two. Oh. <laughs> so, you only like certain kind of red chickens. I forgot to bring the salad that I was going to give them. So she's gone back to get that. So, today is a holiday. And that's why at Gabby's home, she helped me with chicken chores, which was super kind of her. Today is the day that the other chicken from inside the house, she's recuperated enough. She's coming back out. I think I'm gonna put her on this side, even though she's a little bigger than these guys, but then she can have the heat lamp because she's been inside the last few days. She looks just like this hen here. She looks exactly the same. In fact, all of these chickens must've came from the same egg. All right, um, can you take that in and throw it to the big chicken? We have the same taste in chickens, Gabby. Everybody sure likes these ones. Looking. He's cute. So it's a girl, I'm sure it's a girl, and that's the same as that white one that you picked up in there. Isn't it cute? Oh my, wait, hold it up again. It is cute. So uh, we're about to get ready to sell some of our chickens. Sophie raises them in the winter and sells them yeah, in the why spring. Don't have any red ones? Because we don't have any red chickens. Actually, we had a red chicken, and you know what happened to her? Bright red. Is we had a really nice red chicken, and then the silky laid on top of it and, and smothered it when it was laying an egg. But that one is so cute. All right, chicken chores are done. Let's go we clean up this feeder, this water, and fill it. I have, I have like one, two, three, four, 
five waters going in that chicken coop and the chickens are starting to lay eggs again. Yesterday we had six and today we have four so far. So we're gonna bring this little girl outside. She's like, um. She's like, wow, I remember out there. She's been inside for three days. So she, or maybe more than three days. All right, back to the chicken coop we go. I mean, her batch of chickens are very friendly. Like they don't. So what we need to decide to do, so she, comes from this side of the coop. Does that white one go in this coop? Yes. It's so much smaller than all the rest of them. Oh, cause she's a, this she's a satin. Tiny. This one's tiny too. Yeah. Like, look at her. This See? Big, so, and she's submissive. That's why we took her inside. Cause she wasn't able to like. What? Sophie, that one is getting really cute. It's literally like a Dalmatian. Gabby. Sophie, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're trying to decide if we should put her, but she's doing good in here. here. But this side has the heating lamp, so that's what I'm most worried about. You're but look, smallest one. she's actually doing good in here, Sophie. She, she seems happy, but see, she gets pushed out. Here's her food. All right, well, let's leave her there. When we come back out tonight, we'll check her again. And make sure she's doing okay, but she seems happy. Like she had her own food. Oh. Does it have red on his wings or is that just poo? No, he has red. And look, he's got a spotted head. All right, let's go. All right hold on. We're going to the, the oh horse barn. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Look at his spotted head. That's cute. Our chickens are getting really cute. We're getting cute chickens, but we're going to switch it up soon. So tell them. Talk to us. We're getting rid of all of them. So the reason why this one's so small, it's because it's a satin. And what a satin is, is a chicken that it comes from a silky. It's a silky cross. So she's a satin. And she's looking really cute. And then these are the babies over here. That aren't growing. Yeah, they grow. They're just the smallest ones. All right. Let's all right, let's go. go. Okay, so chicken chores are the worst chores of the day the it's nice in the sun but it's still freezing out it's literally still freezing well without the wind it's not and without the wind but that's the problem it's windy <laughs> it's windy and it's cold so it still is awful but anyway i have lots to uh update you guys about with the baby goat and we're gonna make our way down there eventually because today we're doing something new with him so this got super dusty being out in the barn, but this is a baby scale. And I actually have a goat scale as well. But at his size, I feel like this might be better. But it needs this kind of battery and I do not have any nine volts. Do we, do we have nine volts in the house? All right, well. So I'll have to deal with that after. Tomorrow is shopping day. It's been a long weekend for us. So we'll be heading out to get all of our supplies and stuff. So I'll get a battery for that. It'll just be easier. Oh, it's cold. It's cold in the horse barn. So I wanted to tell you guys something really quick about the horse barn before we make our way through. Do you see how messy this is? It's because every day Sam puts everything back and every night Penny comes over and pushes it over. And I said to him like, why are you doing that? Why are you putting everything back on there for her? And he said she likes it. So he puts everything up so that she can push it over again. Isn't that kind? <laughs> our mama goats, when we got them, especially our white mama goat, she taught her baby to be scared of us. And so they're not friendly. They're not super friendly. And that's what happens if you don't step in. Our mom, our, our white goats are gonna be a nightmare when they, when they have babies. <laughs> oh, hello! I've been busy with a goat! <laughs> Hi! She booked it over to me! Yes! Hi, Ben! Don't be mean! We just showed her friends the horses. And she said they like Storm the best. Everybody likes Storm the best. Always, he's such a personable horse. They got to ride Gracie and Willow. They got to ride Gracie and Willow. <laughs> Whew, it's actually nice in the sun, but I hate that, like, the fact that 
they're in a small okay so the horses are in two fields they're in a big huge field and they're in a small field where the hay bale is so they can run wherever they want but but there's a white van here yeah that means a delivery it's actually really really nice in the sun it's just cold everywhere else anyway because they're in like a small field and penny always comes to me when she like needs me or she misses me or she hasn't seen me enough she like books it to me just like she just did and then storm comes over and she hates him so much that it kind of ruins our meet and greet so i always end up having to bring her inside and brush her and spend time with her inside Lucy's laying in the sun. She's always got her head out the door there. She's outside. You know it's cold when even the duck and the goose don't want to go out. All right, I have something I wanted to show you guys and I don't know where it is. Oh, I need this. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. There it is, okay. So, Sophie and Gabby go straight to the baby goat. Sophie, we need a scale for this. So essentially, that won't fit him. <sighs> it barely even fit Lola. No, it's good. Let's go try it on him. From this thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot how tiny he is. He'll fit in that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's put him in there and see. Hey, so Mom. I want to weigh him just Mom. for our records. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. Can I see him? Okay, but go away, Molly. Molly's good. She knows it's okay. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. She's getting so good at sharing her baby. Yes. Yep. So, sesame. you can just squish it on her belly. Anyway, I got nothing to weigh our baby, so we're not weighing our baby today. And I forgot the other part of this. I think it's up at the barn. So this morning we took Winston outside for the first time. We don't leave him outside. He's so content with just sitting with him. I know, he is the most content baby. Gabby, hold this baby. I'm Gabby's never I'm held him before, hold him. Okay, okay, Jesus. He's like, I don't wanna be held by Gabby. That's the first time he ever <laughs> called out like that. So uh, this morning, I don't wanna hit her. poor little Blossom was begging us to go outside, like begging us. And we let her out and her and her mom, who are so bonded, they were literally rubbing noses, rubbing heads. They were so happy to be together. Oh, gotta be close the door. So we brought him out and we stayed with him. We just brought them out. Oh, he's peeing. Was he sleeping when you came down? Well, when I got in there, he was perked up. He was like staring at the door like, okay. So anyways, we brought them out. Mocha was so glad to see her mom. Her mom was so glad to see Mocha. Is his Mocha's udder look popped? I want to just pull all this crap out. Yeah, they're starting to shed. I don't know why it is not warm enough for that. Let me tell you. But anyway, the goats were all really, really good with Winston. Did you guys know that sometimes moms have babies? Hey. <laughs> She's it's chilly, not I know. Sometimes moms have babies out in the herd, so they're not separated. They just plop them in the field and then the babies get up and and the mom protects them and they learn not to bother other goats by other goats running them off and it's not how we wanted to do it we want to keep them safe but even more so it's cold like it's not that he won't be safe with his mom out in a herd in a field it's that we're paranoid and i'm afraid of hawks that's my biggest fear is that somebody's going to come a hawk is going to come and steal him but also i've read like a lot of people posting recently about i can't find my baby and it's because the moms have them tucked somewhere outside to keep them safe and that's just we're just not ready for that yet so until we're ready for that it is scheduled visits with her with her mom it's supervised visits but look at how fat our goats are getting not you i mean you're fat too but i mean the pregnant ones you are looking chunky tomorrow is two weeks 14 days from her due date and she is looking big. Look at that. Does that look big? Does that look big, Sophie? She does. But she does really good out here with him and he does really good out here. He likes climbing. He loves it. This morning he ran and he hid underneath the feeder. That feeder is so good for him. 
because if he gets scared, he can hide so underneath happy. it. The only one that wasn't happy with him, that treated him kind of bad, was the other baby, Rosie, because she doesn't understand yet. But all the moms were so good. Look at her udder. Everybody, everybody's udder be looking massive. Except for Lola's and Rosie's. So this is what Sophie and... wants to play with her, but no one... I know. Her. Lola wants to play with her, and Lola's like the best one to play with her. She has no horns. She's got and no she's horns, like and she's gentle. She was a, basically a bottle baby, almost. She's so cute. Look at that little face. She looks really fat, but it's because she has so much hair. She wants to She play really play. wants to play with him. Either that, or she wants to be in bo the boss of somebody for once. For now, this is the best that we can do for letting him outside, letting him get to experience, you know, the rest of the herd. And by the time um, he's ready to come out and start coming out during the day with her, he'll be ready and they'll be used to him. This is the way that I chose to do it because I'm a paranoid person. I still do think that they could stand to be in the stall together for a few more days just for like the bonding, but they are bonded. Like they are bonded. He, she loves him. <laughs> <laughs> We were sitting on this piece of wood over here and it was cracking. Anyway, they are super bonded and doing really well. I'm just not ready for him to come out. Plus it's cold, plus it's wet and we're not down here like enough. So for now it's just supervised playtime. I wanted to show you Tilly too because she's doing three weeks. She's doing 21 days and let me tell you, she's got a big belly. It's really warm in this spot. She's afraid of the baby. They're all like, oh no, there's a baby. You see how they all kind of <laughs> leave her alone and let her do her own thing? And he stays with her. He's doing so good. I said I wanted 20 goats before. Yeah, I was like, you know what? This barn is big enough. We could handle 20 goats. We could have 20 goats. <laughs> I don't want 20 goats. But like, we're halfway to 20 goats. How many do we have? Six? We're not halfway. 10 is halfway. <laughs> well, we're... Wait, how many do we have? Three? Six? I'm here. Seven? Six. We have six goats right now. And then we have a little buck. Seven. We're going to have 11 or 12 after this, after this month. After like in the next few weeks. Come sit here. Do you remember being a baby? Yeah. Be nice. Oh. <laughs> you have reactions like a freaking superhero. That freaking hurt. <laughs> I love you, but be nice. Be nice. Okay, let go. So, Jesus. <laughs> Sophie had the baby on her lap and that's the only goat that Mocha doesn't, that, that Blossom doesn't want around her baby. Sophie was holding her on her lap and all of a sudden Blossom just like came to headbutt her. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sophie hurts. saved it. Wow, Winston. You Watch. be nice. I can catch your horn. <laughs> That was amazing reflex. Yeah, my arm hurts. So hard. this is like mental stimulation for her. She really prefers being out here. This morning she just was eating with her with her family, and she was so much happier. I hope you caught that on camera. I think I did catch it on camera. Where's Gabby? Gabby. Everybody's looking at us. They're like, "What's going on?" <laughs> we're in. We're mental stimulation for them. He's so excited. <laughs> She like headbutted him, but since like she did like that, it's I know. So little Lola wants to play with him, but his, his mom gets to choose. Sorry, sorry you about your luck. Lola, that will break. Even as a friend. It's no hurt.
worry Cause we got all the time we need If we're in love then we'll succeed I heard laughter, I heard music I thought baby there's no way we could ever lose it There's no way we could ever break or bruise it But you're through Getting her in here is awful. She just does not want to come in. Just a few more days. It's cold in here. I know, it's warmer out there. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's here. Look. <laughs> She's getting him in trouble. How dare you? Do right. not run off. You grab her. Come on, go in your bed. <laughs> she grabbed him I, by the coat. I saw him in the corner of my eye. <laughs> Sophie has the best reflexes. So we put some. I oh, she just actually. pushed him up there. So we brought some toys in for the goat. We might have to fix that. Sophie, you got to balance that better I because. Don't think it's... <laughs> I don't think Sophie has good reflexes. She does. Can you miss all the times I've hit her? <laughs> Sophie, fix that so it's balanced for him. So we put some toys in here. He like even likes the ball. We put the green ball in here, the horse ball. Who who knew it would turn into a goat toy? Oh. Good boy. All right, let's okay, go. He gets some milk. So basically, I wanted to weigh our baby goat. I know he's gaining weight. He drains one side of her udder every single time. Like we come down, it's empty. He's he's nursing beautifully. He's got a little belly. He's healthy. He's got energy. He looks good, so I know he's gaining weight, but I just want to gain, I just want to record his weight and see how much weight he gains each day. The duck and the goose both Daddy, laid an egg today. You're carrying to the eggs. No, she doesn't touch I eggs. She doesn't touch eggs. No, so we, I had to feed the chickens. Yeah, and I was. Because, you know, the rooster attacks people apparently. But it does. It didn't attack Gabby. No, I bully him. I bully him too. He wow, Gabby, you sound so proud. She's well, a bully, a rooster bullier. Oh, the one time he attacked me, I kicked him. He's buff. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't move. I kicked him with all my might. He didn't move. <laughs> Sophie makes about six hundred dollars every year with her chicken sales, and this year I'm going to start keeping track. Like I'm going to take better records, and then at the end of the season, we're going to show you guys like the profit that she's made with her chickens and and other things that we do no oh well that one's wider so she's only laid three eggs now three eggs yeah, or four i think that's big yeah these are our eggs you guys <laughs> and then i knew a chicken laid eggs the other day so there's that one let's see good So that, that's the size difference with like a new layer. Eggs are so pretty though. Sophie, the goose eggs can't go in here. Sorry. I've seen people store goose eggs in a little basket in their fridge and I think that's what's gonna, what I'm gonna get because they take up a ton of room. And the thing about goose geese eggs is that they don't lay all year. Geese only lay for a few months out of every year. It's unfortunate, so we want to keep our geese eggs <laughs> as long as we can. They're really yummy. I love eating them. If you've never had a goose egg, you should try it. It tastes just exactly like a chicken egg, but fluffier and bigger and like creamier somehow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?